Welcome back to Tesh Kid FX for another Phantom Price Prediction Update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the Phantom chart which has almost fully maximized our target areas that we had here on the charts and before I get into that part of the technical analysis make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to start the video here on the one hour chart by first giving you a recap of what has been happening where you can see after making our lower low at around the 0.16 dollar mark we saw a very nice bounce to the upside in a move that has been obeying the edge of structures where i'm terming this bounce to the upside as the formation of that first wave making its peak at around the 0.26 dollar mark before we saw this abc corrective structure having the wave c fully maximizing the formation of that second wave and after seeing the low for that second wave we started a very nice bounce to the upside in what i'm terming as a wave three then we saw a retracement to the lower side into this red target area in the formation of that wave four and I believe whatever we are seeing at the moment is the formation of this wave 5 to the upside and by first sketching out a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of this wave 5 of this edge of structure that I have right here in red by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the Fibonacci's to the high of that wave 3 that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 5 at the Fib level 1.618 which perfectly lies at around the 0.5182 dollar mark which is a target area that we are just about to fully maximize because you can see here on the phantom chart we have been able to make a high at around the 0.49 dollar mark and there are still chances that this high might be the high for this higher edge of country because it's not a must that we fully maximize the target area that i have here using the fibonacci's at around the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.5181 dollar mark and to give you the short-term scenarios that i'm expecting to play out once we see this wave 5 to the upside come to a complete of this edge of structure in red then this five wave structure to the upside will be completing an even larger edge to have count one to the upside so this whole structure once we see the formation of this wave 5 come to a complete we can now name it as a higher edge to have count one like that then expect a larger edge to have count two before we see a wave three then a wave four and then a wave five to the upside and i can change the color of this edge to have structure maybe to to yellow so that it can represent a different edge to have count here on the phantom chart so once we see the high for this higher edge to have count one then we can expect a retracement to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2 and i have said there are chances that we might have seen the high for this higher edge wave count one at around the 0.4985 dollar mark so the high that you have at the moment could be the high for that higher edge wave count one and assuming that that is the high for that higher edge wave count one we can sketch out a minimum target area to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2 by connecting the Fibonacci's from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 and that gives me a minimum retracement area between the Fib level 0 0.5 and the Fib level 0 0.618 and I can mark that target area here on the chart like that which perfectly lies between the 0 0.332 dollar mark and the 0 0.2926 dollar mark so in case we continue seeing an increase in descending momentum and continue seeing a, a corrective structure play out here on the phantom chart there are chances that whatever will be playing out is the formation of this wave 2 which i will expect to retest back into this red target area and once that happens then that will be a perfect entry back into phantom before we can expect another huge pump to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 then expect a wave 4 and then continue pushing even higher in the formation of that wave 5 so that is what i'm expecting here on the short term scenarios and also given that we have lost the 20 day ma which is now acting as resistance that fully supports lower prices here on the phantom chart but in case we see a break above the 20 day ma give us support their chances of fully maximizing the fib level 1.618 which perfectly lies at around the 0.51 dollar mark and once that happens then i'll be naming the new high as the high for that higher edge to have count one then from there we can sketch out a minimum target area to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2 and before i give you the long-term scenarios that i'm expecting to play out and also show you a key area on the fibonacci 
strategy that you have been able to manage to break above on the daily chart allow me to first take a look at the indicators here on the one hour chart where you can see that on the rsi we are trading at around the 53 mark meaning we have massive room for us to support any movements to the lower side and also room for us to support making one more lower high in the formation of that higher edge 12 count one also taking a look at the market we have been able to print a bearish cross and that means lower prices are still coming our way and the MACD fully supports the formation of that higher edge 12 count two and jumping to the daily chart to give you the long-term scenarios that i'm expecting to play out here on the daily chart I can first show you a key area on the Fibonacci that you have been able to manage to break above by connecting the Fibonacci's from the low of the first wave to the all-time high and that uh, area on the Fibonacci is the Fib level 0.88 which perfectly lies at around the 0.43 dollar mark and the moment we manage to break above that key area on the Fibonacci that meant that Phantom is getting back into the recovery phase and there are chances of continuing to unlock even higher prices and here on the daily chart I'll be giving you the long term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out where you can see that Phantom from these low prices that we had been trading within we saw a very nice bounce to the upside making it to an all time high at around the $3.5 mark in what I'm terming as a higher edge 12 count one to the upside and after seeing the all time high we started the bear market where we have been seeing no prices in this ABC corrective structure which has now taken us back to around the $0.16 mark in what I'm terming as a higher edge 12 count two and after seeing the low for this second wave whatever I expect on the long term scenarios is a bounce to the upside in the formation of this wave three and I have a target area at the FIB level 1.618 which perfectly lies at around the $5.7395 mark and in the formation of that wave 3 I also expect to see a 5 wave structure in formation having the wave 5 fully maximizing the formation of that wave 3 to the upside so that is what I'm expecting on the short term and also on the long term scenarios and I hope that video was of much help to you.